to Libya, where a multi-billion dollar project aimed at developing a railway system connecting Libya's eastern and western borders remains incomplete since the 2011 revolution that unseated former President Muammar Gaddafi. The country is struggling to restart the project at a time when Libyans are in dire need of a fully-fledged public transportation system. The joint Russia-Chinese railway project was launched in 2007 at a cost of roughly $6 billion, but the operation ceased in 2011 due to unrest. The contracts agreed upon cover approximately 2,000 kilometers, connecting Ras Jir to Benghazi and from Haisha to Sebha. It's carried out in cooperation with the Chinese Civil Construction Corporation, which is a government entity, covering 1,500 kilometers, and another contract with Russia, connecting Sirt to Benghazi and covering around 550 kilometers. In the wake of the downfall of President Muammar Gaddafi, diplomatic missions who had left Libya are yet to return. Russian and Chinese railway companies say the return of embassy staff is a prerequisite to restarting operations. The project's completion will also depend on the level of support from the government. Honestly, it all depends on the companies and the timeline that will be discussed with them, which has so far not been set. It will also depend on the state's financial resources. But we will run all the programs and sit down with the companies and negotiate. And in the end, it will depend on the availability of financial resources and support from the country. With no public transport buses, taxis or underground, many Libyans in the capital resort to private transport operated by regular citizens. While the service is typically affordable to the average Libyan, commuters say it lacks the necessary infrastructure for drop-off and pick-up stations. Honestly, it's going well, but there needs to be proper stops for these buses, a designated pick-up point that will make life easier for the citizen, because often we have senior citizens and disabled passengers. Sometimes if a passenger is dropped off at a specific location, pick-up may not be at the same location and will not be able to walk back to it. The railway was designed to run on both diesel and electricity and planned to include 76 stations and over 8,000 trolleys. Vic Chege, CGTN.